Not the greatest start to a ride if the first thing you got to do is put on a rain jacket. But that's where we are. And I'm in Brighton, heading to the seafront for a road, gravel, off-road ride. And it's the first ride I've done on my bike since I had my chain waxed. So oh, this is pretty grim. I haven't done any filming really because it's been raining too hard. I'm pretty wet through, I'm wearing shorts. I think this is going to be one of those rides which is more in the mind than in the legs. I'm going to crack on because I need to uh, break the back of this ride and I've got another massive announcement to give you. You won't be disappointed. No, no you actually, that's a joke, you will be. I moved on a bit. I'm out of home now, I'm in the uh, picturesque port of Shoreham. But out to sea is some surfers. And it has sort of stopped raining, but not really. And if I look over there, that looks like just a wall of rain. That is definitely the most surfers I've ever seen in Brighton. And it is definitely raining again. I'll be saying that a lot, a lot of weather updates. <laughs> Maybe I should just say, if it's not raining. So, I've cycled through Brighton. All the way along the coast, picked up the downs linking to Shoreham, and that's where I am now. So it's nice to be on gravel, my bike's natural home. The other good news is it has stopped raining, actually properly stopped raining. So gonna take the downs link up to Partridge Green and then I'm gonna try and cut across. Just saw a mouse, you probably wouldn't have seen that. Back down via Beacon Bikes for what will be by then a very well earned coffee and something to eat. Hold on, hold on. Sun's out. Oh, it's probably going to be out for about 30 seconds, but that feels nice. I must say my mood has definitely lifted. I'm now off the road for a while. It hasn't rained for a while. I'm not into the wind anymore. I may even go so far as to say I'm quite enjoying it now. Probably a huge mistake, but I'm going to take my rain jacket off. So let me talk about my waxed chain and I've got to say it feels quite different. Now this is the first ride I've done on it but I've been through a lot of rain, done some road, cycle track, gravel, off-road today and this is what my chain looks like. Pretty much exactly as it looked before I got on the bike and this apparently is the beauty of waxing chains, you don't have to maintain them. The wax will protect the chain and you just need to repeat the process. And the other thing I've really noticed about it, it just feels a lot quieter. There's very little noise as you're turning the pedals. Now I have to say I'm still having some problems shifting and I'm sure it's down to the cable tension so it needs a bit of adjustment there. Yeah, so far I'm, uh, I'm very impressed. Listen to my drivetrain, so quiet. Can you hear that? Exactly. It reminds me of my hub gear bike, which uh, I haven't used for a while now because because I got this one. But it's really quiet when you get on it. And this is really quiet too. I hadn't really considered until I got my gravel bike just what a good resource the Downs Link is. 
I never really used it. I think I might have gone out there with my daughter once or twice. It's actually a really good path. It's great for planting roots off. And that's exactly what I've done today. Give myself a stretch on the Downs Link. I then come off it at the right time to try and take in some uh, minor back roads and bridleways. So I need to come off the Downs Link quite soon, I think. Somewhere around Partridge Green. So when I start seeing some more houses, I'm going to check my phone and see exactly where I am. Lighting up the map. Got a bit of a road section to do. And should be picking up bridleways and uh, sort of country roads. Just coming out of Partridge Green now. This is turning out to be a really nice ride. Started off so grim. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? I was questioning why I was even out today. This ride is what I really like about having a gravel bike. You can do the road, the cycle path, the off-road, as long as it's not too gnarly, the gravel track, the farm lane, it kind of does everything apart from the really gnarly stuff. And that's what I've got my mountain bike for. You hear all the wildlife here. Lots of birds chirping. So good for my mental health, being out in places like this. Your stresses wash off you. So on a little country road section now. Pretty easy. Now I know where I am. I'm at the one and only Bridalway Electric Gate. Anybody worked out what my other massive announcement is? Yes, I've got new shoes. And look at this. How cool is that? Tighten them up, that little lever. And this is the first time I've ridden with them. They felt a bit tight on when I first put them on, but I've been feeling fine since I've been riding with them. I really did need an upgrade as well. My uh, Specialised had taken quite a battering over the years. They'd been to Scotland, they'd been to Wales. They were, they'd seen better days. I shouldn't have stopped. It's just started raining. Any show jumping fans out there? Well, this is the, uh, the Wembley of show jumping in England. Probably. Hickstead. I actually don't know how to get out of this place. I'm stuck in a show jumping loop. I'm gonna have to turn my channel into a show jumping channel. Maybe more successful to be fair. It is proper raining again. I managed to escape the rabbit warren at his Hickstead showground. My next stop is food, tea, cake, everything I can stuff in my mouth. Long overdue. Oh, 
well i'm well fed a cup of tea flapjack and now i'm back on the road but today's been a fantastic ride started off so unpromisingly i nearly thought about bailing out but so pleased i didn't I really do enjoy this gravel bike and the chain waxing well that's a definite success once i can get my gears dialed in this bike's going to be much improved so thanks for watching today please comment about the waxing of the chain particularly and like the video if you've enjoyed it and if you want to see more hit the subscribe button that's what they say isn't it anyway until the next one